So I see, one I see Dwayne on the call. Welcome, Dwayne. So, Dwayne, in your organization, Office 365 is up and running, I assume, right? Yes. So who, like, who are the leads? Is there one lead, multiple leads? And who's calling all the technical shots, if you may? Yeah, so there's multiple leads for each of the service areas. Uh -huh. uh, I'm part of the one for SharePoint, but there's broken out for security, exchange, uh, you know, basically all the different areas. So it's almost like the perfect use case scenario there. Uh, and it's being driven by a steering committee at the IT executive level. Uh, ultimately, the CTO, CIO, um, fundamentally at the very top. Um, and so that has its pros and cons. It's nice because you have everyone that has their accountability and responsibility to be those subject matter experts of those service areas. But coming from another company that was much smaller, where it was um, the resource pool was not quite as deep. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much myself as the SharePoint guy and then the exchange admin. And so there, that's where we kind of um, work together. And I, and I see that in a lot of companies that don't have that depth. It's really those two because they have the most experience and they, I think, they tend to understand more of the implications of how those things tie together. How big is your organization now, Dwayne? Uh, right now, I think it's about four to 6,000 office workers, but it's much larger globally beyond that. Got it. So you do have first line workers, front line people, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then when you say, you know, it's great, you have a steering committee and uh, like uh, a team that makes decisions, but if there's, uh, you know, architectural platform wide decision making, does it still go through that uh, decision making process with the steering committee? Mm -hmm. Yes. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I see Jeff, the other Jeff, uh, on the call as well. So, uh, Jeff B, how are you? Is Jeff P? Uh, he's already. All right. So maybe he's unmuting. Fred, welcome back. Fred, maybe you want to share your house scenario. I think we talked the other day and you had a great analogy on on building house. Uh, maybe you want to share it with the team as well as how you think about it. Yeah, so um, my, my analogy was more on um, uh, somebody building a house and once that house is built, it's a project lead that will be designing and guiding how the inter interior will be built within uh, an Office 365 platform. So that's more where uh, somebody who has that SharePoint background, because he has all familiarity with uh, the previous SharePoint concepts carries over a lot into Office 365, 365, whether it's forms, workflows, external data, list thresholds, um, uh, security permissions, those naturally carry over into an Office 365 uh, mm. suite. And so he has that strength, but of course, not to take away that, as I mentioned on the tweets, that it's somebody who's has that willingness to learn all those things. 